Hello, my friends. Happy Friday night. I hope everybody's doing well. Very excited to be here at what I don't even what's the date today, June the 10th. It's Friday, June the 10th. And uh, it's time for a little bit, a little bit of creating life. And I'm going to learn how to speak at some point too. But that's the whole part of being live, right? Is uh, there's no redo. It is what it is. So hello, hello. Yes, orange is my favorite color. Thank you, Pam. Well, one of them. They're all my favorite colors, but I really do love orange. Had a little mishap. Went to turn the studio lights on, and I'm like, this isn't working well. And I'm like, oh, look, I can see a little wire sticking out. So I jiggle it, and I'm like, oh, the light came on. And then it went, and smoke came out. And <laughs> Needless to say, I either need to find a new wire for that light or buy a new one. But yes, it uh, blew up right before I went live. So I'm just glad the house didn't burn down. So that's why I unplug everything. I don't leave anything plugged in because that was a little scary. And I saw my friend Karen has COVID. Oh no, take care of yourself. I need to stay away from everybody now until I leave. <laughs> Because uh, I will be leaving to go visit some fellow crafters who will be joining me on a cruise uh, out of Southampton, England on Wednesday. So very excited. My kids will be here holding down the fort. And I hope watering my plants. Because that's the one thing I have to do tomorrow is get up and um, plant the plants I haven't had a chance to do. I've lost two of my Gerber, da Gerber daisies. I think I overwatered them and they went and died. Three of them today, one other one. And that's never happened to me in all the years that I have plants. Uh, I've never lo lost my uh, Gerber daisies. So that was sad. I feel like I like it's a loss <laughs> when my plants die. So very sad about that. But yes, I hope you feel better, Karen. Hello, friends. Vicki, it's my 26th wedding anniversary on Monday. Congratulations. Who was that who just said it? Deb and your significant other. Congratulations. What else are we celebrating? I haven't said hi to anybody yet tonight. Hi, Kari. I'm going to be seeing you and hugging you in person soon. Um, if you notice, I'm I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I have no voice. Uh, Betsy is going to be also isolating until the cruise. I get it. As soon as, and when Karen said, and she lives just up the road from me that she has COVID, then I go, okay, I'm not going anywhere until I leave. But um, I've been working on a, a lot of things. It has been a crazy busy week working on the project for the cruise on Wednesday because that's just how everything has worked by the time product got here, got kitted and all the things that uh, it's, but it's beautiful. And I, some of you have emailed me about the extra kits. I won't even be talking about it until I get back, until I get everything posted. Keep in mind that while I'm gone, nothing will ship. So if you do order something, just be patient. As soon as I get home, um, I will do all of that. I'll put some kind of message up in my shop but I just want you to be aware of those things. And hello, friends. Hi, Julie and Kelly. Hello, everybody. I hope you guys are doing great. I'm very happy to be here tonight. We're gonna to be using the metallic texture paste. Tonight is just gonna be kind of a run through. I have a couple plans to attempt to get videos uh, recorded. So for the two Fridays that I will miss, that I'm hoping I can have like a, this is like a three-parter, what we're doing tonight. So fingers crossed, I'm going to try to do that, but I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. So we'll see how that goes, but something exciting. Anybody here from Australia or New Zealand or uh, saw that I am going to be going on a teaching adventure down under uh, next year, next fall. And I know a lot of you guys were disappointed because the cruise, it booked up immediately. I, I can't even tell you that uh, Michelle was nervous that she wasn't gonna get 50. And we got that with a humongous waiting list. So I know for some of you friends that are wanting to do it um, from all over the world, there's a, the interest has been all over. Guess what? We have a surprise for you. So the first cruise has filled. So we added a second date. So I'm going to stay on the boat back to back and uh, details are gonna be coming soon. I don't know how to say this, but it's going to be leaving November 10th from Brisbane 
as well. It's the same ship that we'll be on for the first one. And this one is going to be going to, I don't know how to say this, Vanuata, Vanuata, Vanuatu. I don't know. It's a South Pacific. And I don't know how to say that. But what you need to do is Michelle is taking care of all of the details. Uh, you need to send in the form and get on the waiting list because she's not, she's, the date has been secured. Now we're just waiting for contract. But if you want, you're like, oh, I really want to do that. There's quite the waiting list. So it will be one of those things you won't be able to sit on or you won't get a chance. The other thing I will be doing, if being on a boat is not your dealio, there will be a land class with a whole different set of classes that will be happening uh, pr probably the weekend we get back from this cruise. And that will be in Adelaide, and we're just working out details with all of that. But Vanuatu, Vanuatu, Vanuatu. I don't know. It looks beautiful. I have no clue where I'm going. I just want to keep everybody as happy as possible. That's my goal because people were disappointed. And, and I'm like, oh, my goodness, it's going to be crazy. So I'll probably be there for four weeks. If there's enough interest, I might do a pre-class in uh, New Zealand as well. So it will be a Christmas collection. So we'll do a Christmas album. It will be it's going to be fun. So just just letting you know uh, that that's coming. So be watching for it. If you haven't got on the waiting list, you want to do that because it will literally, if it's something you want to do, you will have to get your deposit down. And Michelle can talk to you about all the details. I just know that I take care of what I'm going to be teaching and all the rest. But what is really awesome is the cruising, why I love it and why, if you're like, Vicky, why all the cruising? Because food is taken care of accommodation is taken care of, entertainment outside of the cruising is taken care of. It's something you can talk your significant other into doing because they get fun as well and you're only in classes at Days at Sea. So um, it's just, to me, it's the easiest. I don't have to plan a venue, anything. It's all on the boat. And this one is beautiful with big windows and all the fun. So it's going to be crazy, right? I know. I, I understand, Irene. I try to offer lots of different things. That's why I do online classes. I do all of the things. But um, I wanted to go back to visit my friend, uh, Michelle, in New Zealand. And then when I said, you know, we have a lot of friends that are in Australia and people have expressed interest that maybe it's one of their bucket list things they've wanted to do. So we just put a second cruise and we were going to look at a second, a land class. And I'm like, might as well just, if we can do it, a back-to-back -back cruise. Because then uh, if it's something you've always wanted to do, it's a great opportunity to book with friends, family, or by yourself. So uh, any details that you want, talk to Michelle. I uh, can't wrap my head around any of that right now because I'm leaving <laughs> for my UK tour. So uh, very fun, right? Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know there's lots going to be coming. There's tons of classes coming online. You don't have to travel across the world uh, to come and see me. You can see me every Friday night, right? Or however it works. But it's going to be very exciting, right? So any questions, come to Belgium. You know, it's... I don't know, like it has now the world's opened up and all these requests for travel and uh, it, I don't know, we'll see where that goes because again, it's one Vicky who's now currently working on my next collection that I have to do while I'm on a boat in England. Just gives you an idea, right? The work never ends. Um, are you doing any classes in the UK? No, it just didn't work out. It just didn't work out. Uh, the My friends that I normally do it with didn't think that they could manage the venue and weren't sure what the interest would be, but it doesn't mean it'll never happen. I just have to find out somebody who wants to house me, right? Because I can't organize that stuff from all the way over here. So I don't go out searching this stuff. It usually is what comes to me. Do you know what I mean? Classes, I don't go and say, hey, would you like me to come teach? It's usually... Someone reaches out and says, hey, we'd love for you to come teach. And if the de if it all can work out, it is awesome. But uh, yeah, great, great. Yay. How do you get on the waiting list? Um, I'm hoping Michelle is here, but the email should be in um, her email, whatever you send it to. 
uh, should be on Vicki Booten Creative Community. But if Michelle's here, I'm hoping that she will post here. But if not, when I'm done, I will make sure I go and post it on the Vicki Booten Creative Community so you guys can get on board with all of that, right? Please remember to give Vicki a th thumbs up. Thank you, Kelly. Uh, I have to come to Nova Scotia. I have to plan that because I want to come and see Kelly and Mike in their new house anyway, but that probably will happen. How's my eczema? It's still there, right? It's still there. And there's another friend that I'm trying to work things out. We search you out. Uh, and Michelle, I'm not sure where you sent that email. I tried to look for it and I don't know where it is, but you can hear it. The exhaustion is kicking in. I am, I'm uh, on fumes right now, right? Trying to push through and get all the things done. So tonight is going to be lots of fun. It's going to be working with the texture pace and I think when I get home, just watch for it. I have a whole bunch of stuff to stock in on vickyboot.com and I ordered extra texture base. So I might do a little, a little sale -y sale when I get back. So um, adding a whole bunch of things uh, and maybe a special with the texture paste. So if you guys are on the fence and after I share all the things that I'm going to do with it uh, and you're looking for that, I think I'm going to do that because I ordered a lot. I have a lot of texture base. So um, anyway, what have I missed? Lots to share always, right? And and that's why I've been kind of missing in action with uh, online and stuff, right? So I'm still here, still doing all the things. But um, thank you, as always, for finding me on Friday night because I love that you guys uh, meet up with me and we have some fun. I don't think I have your metallic texture pace yet but honestly not sure. <laughs> I hear you, Michelle. I know what that's like, right? That they could be here and you haven't even opened the box yet. Um, thank you, Julie. Likes my new haircut. I did. I, it's all undercut and shaved on the sides. I can't turn around because I don't think I comb the back of my hair today. <laughs> so I have to make sure that I don't physically turn my head so that you can see uh, it. Like It's like business in the front and party in the back tonight. So good times. Um, anyway, any questions before I flip the camera? How's everybody doing? Any birthdays we're celebrating? Do you need any extra love sent out your way? Uh, whatever's going on, you know, I got your back. And hi, Libby. Hello, my friend. How are you? Kat is on a road trip to Atlanta, Georgia. That's where Libby's in Georgia, right, Libby? Uh, she's on a road trip to Atlanta, Georgia in a uh, room heading to Mississippi tomorrow. Very M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 uh, that is awesome. Have a great trip. Be safe. Um, you're not late. You're not late, Mitch. You're not late. Mish, Mitch. <laughs> I, I'm just reading on here, but I'm not sure if it's short for Michelle or whatever that is there, but you're not late. We haven't started anything. Um, yay. Uh, hubby's birthday on Sunday. Happy birthday. Rough couple of weeks I needed tonight. Well, we're here for you, Irene. You know, uh, it'll be fun tomorrow. Yes, Tim Holtz is, uh, oh, mentioned my room last week. Well, we are friends, Tim and I. Uh, I'm excited. He's going to be introducing some new stamps and stencils tomorrow. I'll be checking that out while I'm working. Got to get up, plant my plants, and then finish up projects. But very excited. Uh, the Sweet Rush album is almost done, but I had to put that one aside to work on the cruise stuff. But I will be sharing all of that, and there are extra kits if it's you want to be involved in the um, weekend event. This is how I looked at it and how I am decided. This is how I craft now. Life has changed, right? And maybe I don't have as much time to sit down and do uh, tons of layouts or whatever. Why I love my weekend events is we do layouts, we do a mini album, and now I've decided, you remember I say, ah, and pictures might never go in them. When I finish the Sweet Rush one, every Friday night, <clears throat> sorry, it's going to be a bad one tonight with the voice. <coughs> every Friday night, I'm going to be sharing pictures I've posted in that album. And I'm going to show you how I use those albums. Because what I love is there's a lot of you guys that might just hang out here and don't really craft as much anymore, but you just like the whole vibe of the lives. I want that when I do these three events a year with these albums, that it could literally be where you forces you to print photos off your phone or whatever you're doing and to do scrapbooking, even if it seems like it's in a smaller scale. 
So moving forward, that is totally my goal that we're going to make these beautiful albums. You get everything shipped to you. You get me for hours and hours where we sit, we talk, we connect, we create. And then I want you to actually use them. That's going to be my challenge where I'm going to start doing some photography challenges. I'm going to share how I print my photos. I'm going to uh, send a whole bunch off to Persnickety and look at that. Maybe we get a discount code for that. And I'm going to start printing the photos and journaling. I decided that's happening this year. Remember, I told you at the beginning of the year that one of the other things that I really wanted to do was to actually create layouts and put photos on them. And I've done that. Like I already have tons of 12 by 12 from this year that I actively have been putting photos on. And it's you guys that have helped that happen. So that is my goal. And if you've kind of been on the fence with my weekend events, that's how I want it to make, to make it that it's going to actually be like two albums for spring and fall that I can put photos in and then a Christmas album and then some layouts and some cards. So it's going to be fun. And just trying to revamp and think of all those things to get you guys creating and printing your photos. Right. So it'll be fun. I love the weekend events too. I, I look forward to them and, you know, and I have all these beautiful albums and 60,000 photos on my, on my camera. It's about time. Those two worlds connect. Don't you think? So I'm, it's, it's going to be so much fun. So I do have sweet rush, uh, album kits left. If it's something you're still interested in, I will be doing shipping this weekend and then nothing for about two and a half weeks. Okay. So if you put an order in while I'm away, don't panic. It will ship as soon as I get home. So yay. Hi, Glenda. How you doing friend? I hope you're doing well. Hello, Carissa. How are you? Very happy to see you. I do notice you guys when you aren't here. So when you pop in, it's so, 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 so much fun. Yes, it's a lot of photos, 60, at least 60,000 photos on my phone. It's crazy. Um, so yay. Anyway, Vicki, uh, did you do a class with the FW box cards to make a flip book? FW. Fernwood? No, I haven't. I haven't done that yet. That maybe in the summer we'll do one with that and with Sweet Rush. With maybe we'll mix it with the tag book. But I'm so excited, new collection we're working on. So right now it's the concept. Uh, we've come up with the title and the SKU list. And we're switching some stuff up. So I'm very excited about that. Um, but it's gonna be fun. Oh my goodness, Kim, be, be careful. Kim had surgery and she said she went down the stairs to get in her craft room. You take care of yourself, don't hurt anything, right? And uh, congratulations, Rose, on your anniversary, very fun. Uh, I think Virginia posted something about the Fernwood cards uh, could be wrong. She probably has done it. A lot of people have done uh, the mini books with the cards. It's just the easiest thing. It's the easiest thing to do a quick mini album, but we should do that. We should do that maybe with some mixed media inserts. Wouldn't that be fun? And maybe some uh, cut files. So I'll hit Nick up because I see her here. And Nicole now said, um, and I'm trying to talk her into coming to visit me. So everyone tell Nick she needs to come and visit me on her week off in August and we'll just lay by the pool and I'll make her food and drinks and rub her feet. But I know she wouldn't want me to touch her feet, but I thought I'd add that. Isn't that fun? So let's flip the camera and get started. What we're going to do tonight is look at the new metallic texture paste that came out with Sweet Rush. And uh, we're, I'm gonna just demo them. I'm gonna play with them. I'm gonna show you a bunch of things, make a few backgrounds. And then here's my goal and I'm hoping it can happen is that I wanna film a video and I'm gonna talk about that that will go up next Friday while I'm away. So even though I can't do Friday Night Live, I can do that and then make something out of the result of tonight and next week, the following week. So that's the goal. Fingers crossed I can make it happen. But I think I, I'm not going to do any kind of fancy filming. It's going to be like filming as if I was live and then just quickly edit it and pop that in planned for next week for YouTube. And um, it'll be on YouTube. That's where it will be. OK, it'll go on YouTube. And then um, I will plan a follow up where if I just film consecutively and break it into two things, that's what I'm going to try to do. OK, so that's the goal. So you'll have something to do use what we do tonight you'll have something to um look forward to creating with the results from tonight 
and my idea for next week. So let's flip the camera. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm still reading your comments. Okay, I grabbed both the new stencils from Sweet Rush. Just know, wish me luck because I'll tell you that um, between working stuff out with this Australia stuff, a new collection and leaving on a trip <laughs> and then trying to get all of that sorted, um, just so you know, I will be working like steady, steady, steady until the minute I leave. And then also having to go, sorry, I'm trying to fix my laptop because I take this stuff down. Um, that I have to uh, do so many things before I leave, right? It's crazy. Like think when you just go on a regular vacation, but this is like a working vacation and trying to get my life sorted before I leave, right? It's going to be crazy. Crazy. So, um, Kat, I'm not sure what you're asking, uh, how much, what costs. I'm not sure. I've re referenced lots of things. Not sure um, what you're uh, asking. But look at Natalie is here and she's putting up some links to VickiBooten.com where the texture paste are, the stencils. Like I have all of the things, right? My device is plugged in, Julie. Everything's plugged in. The power is on. I won't make that mistake at least twice in a row, right? Hi, Holly. How are you? How are you, Holly? I have a cousin named Holly. Um, and she always tells me that she's her name was Holly. Uh, her dad named mm -hmm. her after Holly Carburetor. So growing up, she was always Holly Carburetor. I don't know if that's really where her name came from, but her dad used to tease her and say she was named after Holly Carburetor. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, but, uh, I love her. She's an awesome cousin. So tonight I've tell you this drink of choice. Have you ever had a iced London fog? So I'll try not to let it drip, but that's what I'm drinking tonight from Starbucks, an iced London fog question. No Friday night live for two weeks or just one, two weeks, Heather, I am on the cruise and then I am in, um, England. I go into London for five days. I am meeting up with a couple of friends and my friend, Shamel. Shamel, I'm going to do a photo shoot with her. I'm going to meet her up with her. So it will be good. Will there be more wedges on the, these ones? I have a whole case of them, literally. So I will be restocking my store. I have tons of new stencils, new Ranger, Tim Holtz, tons of stuff. But I didn't put it up before I left because I knew I couldn't get it all out. So just be ready when I get back. That is one of the things I will be doing is remember I've talked about that I'm going to be doing grab boxes and I'm going to restock the store. So all of that will be coming. That will be the thing I'll be working on when I get back. So um, question, are you planning on getting any more paintbrushes on your website? Uh, Francine, I have tons of them here. I just haven't stocked anything. So I will send out when I get back a newsletter and informing you of all the new things. And I'm gonna work as well on uh, my Shopify. So it'll be really easy to locate all the new stuff. Will you join Shamel for her live? I will not because um, I, I won't be at her house. She'll just, we'll be meeting and going ev everywhere together. Is Black Foundations paper happening? It is, but it might not, it might not make it to this release in the fall because they're sending me um, samples and I have not fully approved any of them. So it's hard. It's a new product, right? So it's, I don't, I, I found one that I didn't mind very much, but it's not the same. And having a lengthy conversation with my um, comrade who helps me with all of that stuff at American Crafts said, I think you should wait till it's perfect. I don't, I don't think we should go with 90%. Let's wait till it's a hundred. And I agree. Um, Iceland and Fog is a, um, it is uh, Earl Grey with coconut milk and one pump of vanilla because I don't really do sugar, but just one pump of vanilla. That's what my London Fog is. So anyway, any other questions? I'm here all night. Anything you'd like to know, I can help you with whatever. That gives me two weeks to get organized before you're back. Yes. So I will uh, be expecting a um, update, Cassie, when I get home so that you can let me know <laughs> what you achieved. Hi, Catherine Vickers. 
Johnson, how are you? Just saying hi from vacation and we'll play along when I get home. Very exciting. Where are you? Where are you on vacation? Inquiring minds want to know. So tonight I have white foundations paper. I have just black cardstock. I grabbed a ratty brush. I have a stencil brush. I have a palette knife. I have an art wedge. I have my uh, scrapbook.com squeegee. I have a brayer. And then I have all of these delicious new metallic texture paste. So we are going to play with these and we're going to make um, a couple of backgrounds possibly, or just kind of mess around and then we can cut it apart. And then my plan is, are you ready for it? And I know some of you are gonna gasp and be very excited that uh, the video I wanna film will be using a gel plate and the texture paste. So that is what I'm planning to do a quick video on for next week is a gel plate with the texture paste. And then the following week we'll be making something as long as I can get it done. I will get this part of it done. I don't know if we, you might have one Friday where I'm just not here. It all depends how much I can get done, right? It all depends on how much I can get done before I leave. Because my priority right now is I have to get the classes done for the cruise ship I'm going to be on, <laughs> right? Um, but it's fun. That one's a fun one. And I remembered, Natalie, that you said you wanted a kit. So I have to remember that from the a couple of extra ones I will have from the uh, travel album and layouts. So, yay! Let's get started. I'm going to use the new um, sets of stencils from Sweet Rush because I thought tonight is a night. Let's pull these out. We have another half a year to work. Yep, I agree. I will get done what I can. I will. I'm going to leave everything out here so I can at least do the gel plate. I don't know if I'll have time to get to the actual layouts, right? I don't know if I will have time. I'm going to try, but my friend Nicole, are you still out there, Nicole? She is making me some cut files uh, that I'm going to be using on the cruise. She's designing those for me. So anybody going on the cruise with me, that's one of the things I have to do is pull out my uh, silhouette and or Cricut, whatever I can get to work and uh, start cutting um, 20 12 by 12 sheets of foundations paper with all of the things I asked her to make for me. <laughs> she loves me and she loves like, oh, when do you need it? I'm like, now. She loves me. She'd have to because I don't know why you'd be my friend otherwise. I drive people crazy. So that will be fun. And then I will have about 50 of those kits to sell, but I have to price them because they're humongous kits. Humongous kits. Uh, so I just have to figure out how that's going to work. Hello, Lynn. How are you? Just got home from work. Might be enjoying. Uh, oh, you have your hazy IPA. You deserve it. It's Friday and you worked hard all week, right? You worked hard all week. I emailed them over to you. Nicole, will you come over and cut them for me too, please? She's like, now you're pushing it, lady. Okay, so we have two different sets of stencils. One is called Making Waves. One is called Flutter. If I don't have these in my shop and you're excited and you wanna order some stuff, I have lots of this stuff. I just haven't had time to stock the store. Something's got to give, right? And I'll tell you what it isn't, is making dinner for my family. <laughs> it doesn't matter how busy I am. They're still hungry. I don't understand it, but, you know. And tonight, my um, son's poor girlfriend had her wisdom teeth out today. So, of course, like, I made jello for her. And, and you know, I can't just open a can of chicken broth. I had to make her, like, chicken broth out of stock. Because it's who I am, right? And, um... Now I have to plan how they're going to feed themselves while I'm away because they don't do anything for themselves because <laughs> I created the beasts, right? So when I work tonight, I'm going to have my texture paste. If you have a craft mat, put that down. If you have a sheet of acrylic, grab that as well, you know, for our kissing technique. So, you know, kiss it like it is your Nona or your grandma, not like the rock. We're going to be doing that tonight. And let me grab my sheet of plastic because I'm telling you I need it. And then just thought I didn't grab that yet. So let me find one 
There's got to be 12 million around here. So let me just find one. I apologize. I am walking away for un momento so I can find out where I threw the one I had. Oh, Vicky, Vicky. Oh, Vicky, Vicky. Still looking for it. Oh, I know. It's in the sink because I used it. So funny. The one I'm using right now, look at it. It's, I think, out of like a journal or something. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't care. It's a piece of plastic. It'll work perfectly. Um, my kids and your kids should get together and go all Lord of the Flies. Yeah, they don't know how to survive without mom. And I can't say much because I created the beasts, right? I created the beasts. So I look at it and go, yeah, I get it. Um Oh, benefits of having a culinary student. I don't have to worry uh, what to get for them to eat. That would be awesome. I, st I told my kids that I think they should start cooking dinner for me at least once a week, right? Especially Friday nights. Friday nights would be good. I always say Friday nights, you're on your own because I have to go hang out with my friends and they're more important to you on more important than you are on Friday night. Uh, had my sweet rush kit upstairs, so I stole the acrylic from the back of one of the stamp sets. That's a perfect idea, Kim, right? Um, or uh, from your cover of foundations paper. And let me let let me tell you, when the new foundations paper and the ready-made backgrounds come out, they are, don't have acrylic sheets on the front anymore. Because now in our post-COVID world, for some reason, acrylic has gone up like tripled in price. So now it's just going to be a paper front. So don't throw away your extra foundations, paper covers. You're going to want to keep them because that ship has sailed. It's no longer on there, right? Question. Hi, Alicia. Going to Alaska with you in 2023. Will the kit you are going to have now be different than? Yes. Yes, it will be. And it it sometimes it's not even my product. If we're going on a travel, like we're traveling, I will pick travel lines to use and mix them up and then add some of mine. Like it's it's just a kind of a, a mixing pot kit. So definitely, right? Definitely. It, I don't, it is not ever the same class. I spread it all out and that's a long time away, right? So um, it's gonna be good. Just mark my words. You're, you're not gonna be disappointed with what is going to be on that cruise. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I have black cardstock here. It is not super heavy weight, so some of these mediums are a little bit wet. So it will buckle a little bit, but um, as it dries out, I will just put something heavy on top of it. It'll flatten out, not while it's wet, after. And then I can uh, flatten that out. Yes, Vicki, we're going to have so much fun when we go to the Caribbean as well. I was going to try to look into one more cruise for next year, but I think it might kill me. <laughs> so um, I will make sure that uh, we can mix it up and do all the fun things, right? More will come. I just squealed when you said hi to me by name. Hi, Alicia. I'll say hi to everybody by name. I notice all of you. I, I notice every single one of you that are here. I feel like we're all best friends. So when we meet for the first time, if I do get to meet you in person, I'm just going to act like we've known each other for years. It's just kind of how I roll. So let's start right out of the gate with, I'm just going to swatch them out so you can see what they look like, right? So in this set, we have a color called butterscotch. We have a color called pumpkin spice. We have one called bubble gum. We have one called Raspberry Swirl. We have one called Spearmint. And last but not least, Iceberry. So this is our color palette with these metallic glazes. So what's really nice is like the gold glaze and the silver and the iridescent, you're getting a whole set of six different colors, right? So lots of fun. I think it's a good palette. We can, as we do lots of different projects, we can mix these and make new colors as well. We'll have lots of fun M messing around with all of my mediums to see what we can get. But to start, let's just see what they look like right out of the container. And I like to do something when I'm swatching. 
because these materials, this can be used as a texture paste. It can also be used with a stencil brush or a blending tool. And we can also use it as a watercolor. So we're gonna do those kind of things. Missed out on the Australian cruise, sold out very quickly. Guess what, Michelle? I said at the beginning of tonight, I added a second cruise. So the week after the first one, I'm gonna be staying on the boat and there is a second cruise. If you are on the waiting list, um, you totally uh, have the opportunity when Michelle puts that live uh, that you could get on there if whoever, I think it, she'll put it out to everybody on the waiting list and then that's first come first serve, right? So it will be at, I forgot how to say it. Where, where is it? Venatu, 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 and it will be November the 10th for, it'll be a little bit more money for the actual cruise portion because it's an extra day. And just be aware that what was quoted initially as the cost for the actual class part is going to be changed because we had a chat and there are some fees that were, we need to add in there. So just be aware, right? That that's gonna be happening. What is the brand of these pastes? Vicky Booten. They are my paste through American Crafts. So when you get the, see the packaging, it looks like this, okay? It is through, can you see that? American Crafts. And uh, they're part of my collection. Va, oh my goodness, that's a lot. Vauartu, Vauartu, is that how I say it? Vauartu, yeah. So uh, Vauartu, Vanuartu, Va I can't, yeah, whatever, you guys know, Vanuartu. So sorry, that's probably really annoying, but I don't know how, I'm just doing my best. <laughs> so that's where it's going. And I guess I, when I looked it up, I have no clue what that is. I'm just doing the things to keep you guys happy. Right. I want to make sure I can get as many of you involved because it might be the only time I'm ever there. So that is what my um, line of thinking is, is that uh, let's just do the things. And if you guys want to come along and play, that's awesome. Hello, Robin McCauley. How are my Robins? Oh, my goodness. I've seen you. I saw you on something for, with Jen Shirkus. Uh, somewhere else I was on a live and you were chatting and I kept saying hi to you, but I don't think you saw me. <laughs> I was like, Robin, it's Vicky. Hi. So very happy to see you, my friend. Um, hi, Sue from Melbourne, Australia. So I am very, very excited that I will be heading your way. It is a definite, it will definitely be happening that I will be doing a four week tour of New Zealand and Australia in October and November of next year with two cruise dates and a class in Adelaide and, uh, just going to gauge what the interest is to do an album, an all day class in uh, New Zealand as well. So reach out to Michelle, let her know what the interest is. Uh, haven't worked out all the details. It's still over a year away, but it will be happening, friends. It will be happening. So I'm going to start very untraditionally with this. And I'm going to do the watercoloring thing first because I don't want to do the texture first because then it's going to be on here and I won't be able to touch anything else on here. Does that make sense? So the first thing I'm gonna do is a watercolor. How do we find out about the classes in Australia? Uh, more information will come, but Michelle is here. Michelle, please throw out on Facebook and on YouTube uh, a contact email where people can get information from you. Because like I said, friends, um, this has all just kind of come about and I am focused now on the other cruise I'll be leaving for this week. So the best bet at this point, more information will be to, to come, but it literally, the first one sold out in like 24 hours. It was sold out, done. So then I said to Michelle, what do we do? Do we do a, a land class? And then I said, she said, what about a second cruise? And I went, well, it makes sense. We're gonna be there already. We'll just do it twice, right? So we'll just do it twice. I will put a form on the classes to register. So there at Michelle with one L at dsl.co.nz. So um, if I, can I type that on here? Here, watch what I'm going to do. I know I can do this. So watch. I think I can add her. No. How do I add her? Show it. Okay. So I'm going to show that for a minute. Can you see that there? 
There is the email if you are interested in any information on that. Let me grab my paintbrush that is helpful and my water. So the first thing I'm gonna do with these texture paste is a watercolor technique. So I will do a watercolor technique first. So she can help you with any questions you have. I will have more information when I'm home and I can wrap my head around it. Right, right now I'm, I can't, I can't. So I hope everybody can see that. I'm gonna take it off, okay. There, and then if you guys are, yes, I will be going to see Natalie May, but we haven't worked out those details yet. It's just, it's all still in early planning. It's just the cruise stuff we have to nail down, right? So I put the butterscotch on here to start. You don't need much. I put way too much product on there. I'm gonna actually wipe some of this off because I'm trying to do like a little swatching for you so you guys just can see how these work and what the colors look like to start. This is a lot of product heavily pigmented. So when I go to mix it to make a watercolor, uh, unless I'm covering a whole page, I don't need all this business, right? So I'm going to take some of this off. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. So look at that. I'm taking some of it off because I just want to quickly show you guys what this looks like in a watercolor. And I have to be aware of how much space I have so I can get all six colors on. So let's kiss that to the side. And I'm gonna just do my kissing technique. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I might just run a little bit of water in there too because it's very thick. And so this will be my first step. And then you could keep this as well. If you ordered these, you're creating your little swatch so you can see what you get in that product. So to start, I have the butterscotch. And now I'm going to add some of the pumpkin spice. So you saw what I did? Only a tiny little bit. Hi, Kim. How you doing, friend? How are you sorting everything out? Um with your uh, flood. Our friend Kim had some water damage that is very stressful. I know that has to be super hard. So I hope you're managing. I have experienced it and I know what it's like. And it was funny, well, it was terrible. When it happened to us, I had just been work cleaning out my basement. So everything was on the floor and we had a really heavy rainstorm, like very, very heavy and the water came up through the sewer system, blew off the uh, sewer cap in the basement, water rushed in and flooded our whole basement by about a foot and then receded. Now see, color separated with, the, so let's see what happens because I haven't, I haven't used these yet wet. So that is interesting. Do you see how like a blue came out in that? So it's actually could lend itself to a very cool technique. So in butterscotch, it separated the pigment in there into a turquoise. So it's almost like, a, what do you call when um, copper roof oxidizes? But it didn't happen in the pumpkin spice. So very cool. Let's just kind of go through. Um, I think I'll go with bubblegum next. No, actually, let's go with raspberry swirl. Yeah, go get some sleep, Gwen. We will see you later. Patina, thank you. Remember, Vicky, tired tonight. I don't have the brain capacity for much. So I'm using them first as a watercolor. Then we're going to go in with a stencil brush. And then we're going to go in and use them as a texture paste. Okay. So just watering them down. This one didn't separate. The pigment didn't separate out of it. I am left with, oops, a very lovely purpley pink color. And this one is raspberry. Swirl. So let's just kind of blend that out a little bit. Okay. Interesting though. That's very interesting that one of the pigments in there has separated from that. 
and I do have a little green hue. Let's see. Vicky's got to try to fit now three more colors on here. Let's see if I can do it. And then I'm going to go in with, uh, I'll dry these and then I'll go in and do a stenciled version and then texture paste. So this will be now my sheet that I will use when I want to see the sampling of the colors. It is very pretty, very pretty color. Now I'm going to go in with bubble gum, which is a lighter pinkier color, which I love. Don't, don't need a lot. There's tons of pigment in here, so it will go very far. You don't need a ton. And now let's see. Will the pigment separate? What's going on in here? Don't know. And let's put that one down. Oh, so pretty. So this is the bubble gum. And I am very happy that um, some friends are here tonight that haven't been here for a while or have been here, but maybe not chatting much. Because I know sometimes you guys work all week that you might come and watch, but you're like, I'm watching, but I'm not really interested in um, the interaction or conversation. I just kind of want to watch, hang out, have my glass of wine, my tea, whatever you're doing. So thank you if you took a second to say hello today. I do very much appreciate it. Hi, Pam. How are you? Hi, Melissa. I am from Melbourne. Melbourne, just finished gym, so popping in while I wait for coffee. We'll watch the full se session a bit later. Loving that smooshing technique. Thank you very much. And I'm very, very excited that I will be coming to see a lot of you guys. I'm hoping even if you uh, don't take the classes or whatever when I'm in, I'm going to just pick up some of that pigment because I think if I do that, um, I can remove a little bit of that greeny color that um, I hope I get to see you guys. I have no clue where one place is in Australia comparatively to the next. Like I have no clue where this one here, Spearmint, where Brisbane is in comparatively to Adelaide, comparatively to <laughs> Sydney. I don't know. I have no clue. So I would like to see some things while I'm there. I'm going to try to do a little bit of touring in between the cruise and land class because I've always wanted to go and this will be my first trip. So I'm hoping I can do um, see something. Oh, I love it. Spearmint for the win. It's beautiful. Very pretty color. Just kind of making it art, even though this is really, remember, we're doing this just so we can see how these materials react with water. So let's go in last with iceberry. And I'll hold this up to the camera as well. Hello, Tina Marie. How are you? Hi, Jenny. How are you? Dion, how are you, friend? Hello, Yvonne. Oh, is it Sharissa? What a beautiful name. What a beautiful name. I cannot wait to see my friend Kari. I'm going to hug her like it's the rock. <laughs> right? I love it. Um, you will have an amazing time. My hubby and I went for our honeymoon 22 years ago. That's very exciting. Yes, I have to figure out what am I going to stay and see? You know, am I? do I fly between those places? You know? Um, when I was talking to Michelle, she's like, well, it, it's not really the deserty part. And I'm like, I don't know if I need to see that. And I'm afraid of spiders and snakes. So I'm hoping, um, you guys who live there will come and take care of me. I would like to see a kangaroo and a koala bear. Isn't that right? Am I making that up? There's koala, right? Yes, there's koala. Oh my goodness. And ice berry for the win. Look how pretty friends. So I'll give this a quick blast with my heat gun, but look how pretty those pigments are. So that's it as a watercolor. And you know, we're going to revisit this a little bit more at a later date. Like it will not be um, use these and we never see it again. Uh, but yes, very pretty. These pigments are very pretty. So now I'm going to go in with a stencil brush. And I'm going to put them down where they will have 
a lot more depth in color, but it will still be a way to use these um, materials without having to wait for drying time because it will dry like instantly when you use them with a stencil brush. So I have my paper towel ready because I'm going to use one stencil brush and I'll just clean it between each color. So I'm going to take this off so it doesn't buckle all the paper underneath because the top layers, whoops, I just dripped it all over me. Vicky, you're so crazy. Okay. And I worked it too, but we'll fix it all. So let's go in with a stencil. I'm going to use the same stencil all the way down because I'll just clean it as I go. So what do we want to do? Let's do the um, hearts because I just think it'll show a good representation of the color. So I am going to tap that. I don't want to tap this one because I really want that depth of pigment. I'll just try to be careful. So I'm going to lay it like this because I could really do two colors at once and then move the stencil, give it a quick clean and move my way down. So, um, hmm. Okay, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. I'm actually going to do for each one, I'm going to do stencil brush and then texture paste a strip across. So sometimes I got to work my way through how it's going to work and that's what I'm going to do. Ready? So I'm going to take a little bit of this again. This one is butterscotch and I'm going to put it down just a little smear of it on my mat and I have a clean stencil brush and I'm going to pick this up and load it in my stencil brush. I don't need much. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to apply it. So I get this lovely metallic finish, but in a manner that will dry instantly. So you know when we're doing this sometimes, I say to extend this, you could just give it a mist. And then it will um, wet the pigment that's on there and you can expand that. So I'm not going to lift it yet because now I'll do the texture paste side. So if you have a stencil brush, clean it right away. You don't want to leave texture paste in your stencil brush. So I just wet it and then I'm going to just wipe it off on my mat or on my paper towel. Now that cleans it and dries it and it's good for the next color. While my stencil's still in place, now I'm going to, ooh, this is going to be hard, friends. I can't do this. I'm a liar. I'll have to bring the stencil in. I'll place it and do this last. Here's the whole thing. If I go down now with texture paste, I'm going to lay that stencil on the color. Does that make sense? And it's going to be a mess. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do this. I might not do it through the stencil. I just might do a burp for that part because it's going to be too hard to lay the stencil in each color. I'm going to lay the stencil in and make a mess. So the next one is pumpkin spice rotate your paper. It's not, but do you see what I'm saying? When I lift this and I, if I put my texture paste down, yeah. Okay. I just changed my mind as I'm looking at it. I can do it. I'm just going to have to be very careful. So let's do it. So you get to see the pro thought process live and in action. <laughs> so watch, I'm going to do it here. Don't need much. And now I'm going to do it like a texture paste. I don't want to put too much on there because remember, I've got to feed it in to the next color. Okay. So there, here, now, as that dries is going to show me the metallic butterscotch used with a stencil brush and also used with water. So now we have to clean that up. So just give me a sec. So really, and if I was working with this, you know I'd wet this and stamp it on something, right? I would never waste that. But for tonight, at least for this first process, I just want to get it on here. And work my way through to the next color. Lovely. Okay. So now 
that strategically place this without putting it in uh, the wet stuff that's up there, which I think I'm going to be okay if I just run a strip, we'll be able to do it. Okay, so that is butterscotch, which is a really kind of um, almost rustic gold. The next one is pumpkin spice. Cleanup is very easy as long as you don't leave it to um, marinate for too long. Here we go. How are we doing? Anybody have their metallic texture paste out tonight? Are you playing along? Because I find like anytime you have an, ooh, I have to get this chair fixed. I swear one night I'm going to fall right off of it. That um, when you get a new product, I think the first thing you should do is play with it and to kind of lay it out um, by swatching it. I don't need much, right? But let's go. I'm going to kind of tap it in. My stencil brush. And let's do our first row. Oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. So this is pumpkin spice and it is a whole different effect, right? When you put it through your stencil brush, it looks like um, a beautiful copper. So uh, clean your stencil brush, just mist it with water. A little wipe, just so it doesn't get crusty. And so it does not have that shade on when I move into the next color. Clean my mat. And let's go now with using it like a traditional texture paste. Okay. Now I'm just going to, and don't push and pull when you're using a palette knife and a stencil because it's easy to make it bleed under your stencil. So if you've had issues before with um, wet materials, putting it through a, a stencil, just make sure you're only pulling it in one direction. So that is pumpkin spice. And when it dries, it's gonna be so pretty metallic-y. How we doing? Try not to waste. So you get what I'm saying, friends, right? That I would normally not just wipe this off on a paper towel. Let me show you quickly what I would do normally because I'm really digging that color. So I would take this stencil and I would do one of two things. If I took this right now with this material on here, I could lay it down. I could mist on it and I actually am cleaning it and using that material at the same time and I could pull it through the stencil. I put a little bit too much water on here, but that's okay. Or I could have flipped it and kissed it to the background. Right? You could also have taken it and just kissed it and had the uh, reverse of the stencil. I put too much water on, so just don't do that. Oh, look how fun that is. And it's very sparkly. So don't do what I did. I put way too much water on. You don't need all that water. Your neighbor is playing America Greatest Hits. Memories of high school are flooding. <laughs> Anyone else in high school in the 70s? I was not. Um, I was not. But um, I'm sure you have some friends out here that will know exactly what you're talking about. So just cleaning off that color and let's move on to the next one. And now I'm going to show you what I attempted to show you with that first one that totally failed because I put too much water on it. And I'll show you how I would do that for real. For real. Okay. Let's take this. And this color you guys really liked, Raspberry Swirl. Let's look at this one. As a stencil stencil brush 
The other thing that's changing is as I'm going through each one of these, my stencil brush is a little bit wetter because, see, I'm going to hold it up because um, I'm putting it right in there. Oh my gosh, this color is freaking fabulous. Especially if you're a Vicky and you like, oops, Barbie kind of pinks and stuff. Very, very pretty. So I'm going to hold it up in a second. Let's put, oops, Vicky, stop with your crazy self. Some texture. Oh my goodness, this color is beautiful. So look at that one. Raspberry swirl. Now I want ice cream. Very, very pretty. And now let me show you when I'm not messing up all of the things. So remember I was saying that you could do, here's another technique is you could just wet that and you could do stencil stamping where you get in there and you press that down. So you're not wasting that material. And then I often would go through, let's see what happens when I put the same color through the stencil now. So we're going to have stencil stamping. Oh, I love that. Right? So I'm going to have that kind of really fun metallic-y. And then where I went through with the stencil brush, that's fun. And now we'll clean stencils off. And I'm really loving, too, this halo effect when you uh, press through the stencil. That's really fun. You could have put a second sheet of paper on there, right? And the other thing I will do is I can clean uh, both is go through and just clean my stencil and stencil brush at the same time. Right. Let's do that. How are we doing? You got your dog a pup cup. That's fun. I have to say, I um, went to Dairy Queen the other night. We walked there so I wouldn't feel as guilty because I had ice cream. Um, and they have a new, like, uh, what are they called? What What is the ice cream bar that you can get or cone uh, with the sugar cone and then like Nutty Buddy? So they have like whatever it's called. Uh, a nutty buddy one where it has like little chunks of sugar cone in it and um, peanuts and chocolate. It's the best thing ever. I love it so much. I love it so much. So tasty. So very pretty. Let's go on to our next color, bubble gum. Who doesn't love bubble gum? But I have to say, I don't love bubble gum ice cream because that is just a lot of work. You know, the first, what do you, how do you eat ice cream and chew bubble gum at the same time? So I remember having it as a kid. I think bubble gum ice cream came out in my youth. And do you remember, I remember having bubble gum ice cream and you would spit all the bubble gum out, <laughs> right? You would eat it all and then you would spit the bubble gum out. Because it's like, how are you going to eat ice cream and chew bubble gum at the same time? It's just crazy. The whole concept is crazy. Uh, so Nicole, how do you eat bubble gum ice cream though? How do you do it? I want to know how do you eat ice cream with chunks of bubble gum in it and chew the bubble gum and eat the ice cream at the same time? One, you could break a tooth because bu bubble gum is frozen, right? It's the craziest thing. Um, was testing, uh, was the testing for people flying out of Canada to other countries, I don't need to test when I left New Brunswick. Oh, for COVID testing? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So Nicole eats it and then stuffs the bubble gum in her cheek. So it's a new one at Dairy Queen where it's Dairy Queen. It's a blizzard where they blend it all. And my one of my daughter's best friends works there and they have, it's a mix of all broken pieces of sugar cone that goes into the soft serve ice cream with a couple squirts of chocolate syrup and crushed peanuts. And it is, I think, the best blizzard that has ever been made, right? It's the best blizzard that has ever been made. And then for any of my friends who live in Nova Scotia and such, my other favorite ice cream is the one that looks like unicorn. 
what is it called? Something mist, moon mist. Oh my goodness. Irene, I will come out to see you and we'll go on a moon mist date because I think it is the best ever. Oh, I can't wait for bubble gum. This is going to be so fun. This color is so pretty, friends. So it's a much softer pink. So let's kind of put that down. I'm running out of space here, so I'm going to have to be very strategic. Has anybody had moon mist? Best thing ever, man. I dream of moon mist ice cream. So pretty and it's delicious. Oh, look how pretty. Look how pretty that pink is. Oh, I love it. And I love these kind of confetti hearts. Very pretty. Oops. Vicky's messing stuff up. I'm getting so excited about ice cream that I can't even contain myself. You love moon mist? Oh my goodness. I love moon mist too, Irene. We have bubblegum flavored ice cream with wine gums. Not a fan. But the one thing I can say is New Zealand, their ice cream. Do you remember the peach one I had? You took me for peach ice cream. It was the best thing ever. Peach ice cream. And I think, I think Natalie, remember you said, ooh, the spearmint. These two are going to be beautiful. But look at, I don't have much real estate. So I'm going to have to be very careful to get these ones on here. Um, but it, these next two colors, oh, so, so pretty. So, so pretty. Moon Mist ice cream is incredible. I tried it last summer for the first time. I dream of it. And then my friend Mike and Kelly, um, my friend Kelly, who owns my stamping studio, her husband Mike knows of my love of Moon Mist. And he sent me like there's some new vodka or some kind of craziness that or cider that's a moon mist flavor. So I'm going to have to experience that. They have moon mist cupcakes. Like all those smart people there are knowing to jump on the whole moon mist, do unique things with moon mist. The other thing is the best ginger ale I've ever had was when I was in Nova Scotia. And then we laughed because... I, I, when they came to visit me, they threw it in the car to, or I, when I drove out there with the kids, we went and bought the ginger ale and brought it home. And then I looked it up and, and it's canned in like Mississauga. So we don't carry it anywhere here, but it is canned in Mississauga. Isn't that funny? What is the ginger ale? Tell me what the ginger ale is that you guys have out there. It's totally different. Um, best ice cream is cows. Guess what, Lisa? We have a cows here in Niagara-on-the-Lake, and I agree with you. Oh, my goodness. It's not the ice cream that I'm as crazy about as their sugar cones have are like cherry vanilla flavored. So I don't really ever care about the ice cream cone, but I have to say cows ice cream, you have to have it in a, um, in a waffle cone just because they're whatever they put in it is magic 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 unicorn dust is the best thing ever am i making anybody hungry or if you're lactose intolerant am i making you sick i apologize there is a cows in niagara on the lake yeah we go there um in the summertime at least once right to have uh ice cream yep they open one and i live here and i didn't even know so if you're coming to niagara on the lake there's another thing you have to try too. You can look it up on Instagram. It's called the Budapest Bake Shop and they do those chimney cones. But I understand I haven't been there and I don't eat a lot of bread or ice cream. Uh, but I want to try that this summer. You're killing me with the ice cream descriptions. Oh, it's so good. You, you just need to understand. I will not have just any kind of ice cream. But when you have good ice cream, it's worth talking about, right? When we took a ferry across from Nova Scotia to New Brunswick, we could smell them making the cow's cones. It is totally true. I know exactly where you're talking about. Yeah. Okay, the neighbor's now playing Moon Dance by Michael Buble. Want to dance? Are you slow dancing? Are you slow dancing? Okay, this one we're excited about. This is Spearmint. Are we, I think we're excited to see how this color is going, because I'm loving these two, like lo loving, I'm loving all of them, but I have a thing for these like turquoisey, greeny colors, greeny blues. So let's see. Oh, I can tell already. It's going to be fantabulous. So let's try it. 
So I'm going to put this down. This is spearmint. I was trying to think of the, the spearmint gum song, but I don't think it was spearmint. It was juicy fruit, right? It was the song I was thinking about. I don't know if there was, oh my gosh, I love that. I don't know if there's a spearmint gum song. Is there? Okay, now I got to, Vicky, you're such a hot mess. I got to figure out where that stencil was, which was right here. I'm laying it in the pink. It's almost impossible not to because I ran out of real estate now. And oh my goodness, I love this. It's very, very pretty. Spearmint. Look at that. Very pretty. See the metallic? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's very, very nice. And you know what? For some of you, you're like, oh, I don't know if metallic is my thing. I find that it's not overly crazy with the metallic in these. It's a very subtle and soft. It's very pretty. I do very much think that double mint, double mint gum. Yes, right? What is the song? Guess what song's in my head? It has nothing to do with gum. It's sugar crisp. Can't get enough of that sugar crisp. Sure, uh, Sherry, uh, Vicki, can you show us how to use our colored paper towels in our crafting? Yes, you guys have to remind me um, because I saved them all except for these ones that are really gross right now. But yes, I would love to do that. And I know Irene has been collecting them with ever, uh, forever with me. I need to do that. I need to do that with you guys. Something with the twins. Yes, the double mint. And there was twins, right? But I don't remember what the Double Mint song is. But there is one, isn't there? I'm not imagining that. I don't feel like I'm imagining that. Hi, Carla. How are you? Crazy laptop, laptop wouldn't let me comment until now. Love these paste. Thank you very much. And glad you figured out your crazy laptop. Oh, my goodness. That spearmint and the pink together is going to be magic. Look at that. Just on my, I have to save this paper towel, don't I? Look how pretty that is. But that is the spearmint, the bubble gum, and the raspberry swirl. It's all of them kind of layered. It's really fun. Oh, double your flavor, double your flavor, double your fun with double mint gum, right? Double your pleasure, double your fun with double mint gum. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I remember I loved all those. Like I, I listened to a show. Does anybody listen to talk radio? Like I love it. I forget what it is here. 90, 99.1, whatever that is. Um, and there was a show on there about advertisements. So it was jingles and it was one of the best drives I ever had was listening to the show where they talked about all the jingles. Remember like, um, the one for the uh, Big Mac, right? Lettuce, whatever, on a on a on a sesame seed bun, whatever. Two whatever patties, pickles, onions, lettuce, cheese on a sesame seed bun, and you forget that you're like, oh my goodness, those ads were so good because you knew that I I could tell you all of that stuff. So it's funny that even after all these years, you guys will totally remember that double mint gum commercial right it's just brilliant certs two mints in one. Oh my do they even make certs anymore i freaking loved cherry certs now denise i want certs and i want ice cream oh certs is that even a thing anymore i loved it and breath savers that would have the little middle in it i loved certs try and remember what they look like what did a cert look like did it have the center in the middle my goodness, that's like, now I'm having like a a brain uh, issue. Two all beef patties, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun. Yeah, certs. I don't even know if they exist anymore, but I just remembered now when you said that I loved certs. Was certs uh, like US and Canada or is it a Canadian thing? Tell me, did you have certs in the US? Okay, we're going in now with the last one, which is ice berry. So I am going to lay this guy down, and I think it's going to be beautiful. Let's see. 
Oh my goodness, it's absolutely stunning, this color. Stunning. And then I'm gonna hold this up and show you guys. Trying to get it on here, I ran out of space. But look at that, friends. So, so pretty. Can you see the silvery metallic in it? And when they dry, it's going to be so pretty. So they're very textural. They'll hold the shape. So you can use them like texture paste. And then you can also use them with a stencil brush so they dry immediately for you. I love it. So this is the only one, a gray pigment or greeny pigment separated from it, but all the rest didn't. So we're going to play with that. We're going to see what's going to happen, but love that. So very pretty. So now this is my swatch sheet. You could obviously do this much smaller. You could also cut it all apart. So you could have like a ring where it shows you what the texture paste looks like, what it looks like stenciled, and what it looks like with uh, watercolor. Certs debuted in the U.S. in 1956. Who knew? I love that. Um, I absolutely love them. I've never heard of a tree top drink. Never heard of that. Let's look at these on black now. I won't go through all these steps because I, are you finding this boring? Is this boring just doing the demo? You know what I will do here is I'm going to demo. I'm going to get a bigger stencil and we're going to do everything with one 12 by 12 stencil. That's what I just decided. So I'm going to lay that stencil down and do all of the things with one stencil. Maybe not watercolor, but I will do um, the other things. Okay. So let's do that. I'm going to grab a 12 by 12 stencil and we're going to make rainbow on this one. And then we can totally use it. Um, losing my mind. Doesn't take much. I was like, what am I doing? And I was looking for a paper towel just to wipe the stencil off. Because here's the one thing when you're doing this, clean your stencils immediately. It's way less work when you clean it when it's wet. If you wait till everything dries on here, one, you're not going to get most of it off. It's not going to come off. So um, I know a lot of people don't clean their stencils. I clean my stencils because if I'm using a texture paste on here and then I want to do something where um, I want the stencil to be flat, but it has gobs of dried texture paste on it, I clean my stuff. Some people who do mixed media art don't like to clean their things. But if you've met me before, we all know I clean all, all of the things. I clean all the things while I'm working with the things because um, one, if I don't, I'm going to walk away and forget it. And I'm going to wreck my stencil brush that has gobs of stuff on it that I can't get off or wreck my stencil. And who am I kidding? I'm a little bit A-type when it comes to this stuff, right? Just like the schoolhouse rock. Yes, right? Conjunction, junction, what's that function? Yep, I love Schoolhouse Rocks. I want a t-shirt. I think I have a t-shirt somewhere, Schoolhouse Rocks t-shirt. But yeah. And do you remember the Tootsie Roll with the owl? And then he'd crunch it because he wasn't patient enough just to get the to the Tootsie Roll in the middle of Tootsie Pops. Tootsie Pops owl. I love that. Yeah. And I love now that you can get all these funky t-shirts with all of that old ad art on it. So we have this that I can dry out and we can use that at another date, later date. So I will just leave this to dry now and I'll get a new paper towel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. I knew exactly what you were talking about. Okay, I'm getting a big stencil. Here I go, I gotta find one in my stencil thing, trying not to drop stuff on the floor. I'm coming right back. Okay, what am I going to use, Vicki? Well, that'll work. Just going to go in with a simple one. Simple! And a paper towel. I have landmines on the floor because I'm designing a class, so I lay all of the paper out on the floor so I can figure out what I'm going to use. So um, if I showed you what my studio looks like right now, my working space look like right now, you would be like, holy Hannah, 
Vicky, what a freaking hot mess, right? How many licks to get to the middle of a Tootsie Pop, right? I love it. It's a mess in here. But look what I brought over for you. My finger puppet. It's my unicorn finger puppet. <laughs> I bought my friend Lael a squirrel one. And then I bought myself a unicorn one. And then I sent her a video of them dancing together. Because that's who you're dealing with here. So he, he, he was over there by the stencils. And I thought I'd have to share that with you. What if I don't have a 12 by 12 stencil? You don't have to do this. This is just for me to demo it. Okay, Kim, so I don't have to go through laying and, and cleaning and doing each one. You can use whatever stencils you have. This is literally just for me to show you what it'll look like on black. But you could do, um, and I will have to tell you, friends, that things that I love are stencils. You know that, stencils and stamps. And because I love to do gel plate printing and printmaking, that it is definitely worth investing in larger st uh, stencils if you like doing these things with me, right? So uh, definitely worth looking at the bigger stencils. And I do carry them in my store. And that's what I was saying. I just ordered a whole bunch of new ones that will be going up when I get back. So I'm going to start with the... Um, this one I'm going to do. I'm going to tack this down so it doesn't move on us, okay? And then I'm going to do everything all in one thing. Uh, if you don't have stencils, but say you, do, if you have, do you have a silhouette or a, um, or a cricket? You could create your own. You could make one, right? So I'm going to just tack this down so I can keep working with all of the colors. And I'm going to go with stencil brush first. And then my last step will be to just make some texture with the um, palette knife. So I'm going to go in with each color and I'm going to make a pattern with the colors. So it's all the colors are going to be on here. It's, I feel like this is going to be my peacock background. I feel like it's going to look like peacock feathers. Won't that be fun? So let's do it. So I'm going to go in. And I'm going to start with the butterscotch. I'm going to load up my stencil brush. Do you see I tap into it first just to get it in the bristles? And then I'll just kind of rub it around. I think this is going to make you guys go crazy on the black. So, oh my goodness. So I'm going to create a pattern using all the colors. So I'm going to put some up here and down here. This is amazing on the black. And this is when you see holy Hannah texture or um, metallic. So I'm going to clean it up as I go because I'm not going to even clean my stencil brush though. I'm going to just keep blending. Let's just make some art. We're just going to do the things here. So if I went from this color to another, I could really put any of these colors um, with the gold, gold, the butterscotch color. Let's clean that up. Let's go in now with the pumpkin spice. Spearmint is your favorite. I love it too. Hi, Jill. How are you? Question. Is a large stencil in store or who makes? Uh, this is great looking 12 by 12. Um, I think this one is the crafters workshop. I have a whole bunch of them that I'm going to be adding. But it, I don't know if it's in the store right now. I had tons in there, remember, when I did the gel plate class. But I don't know if it's in there or not. But it is Crafter's Workshop. I will put some links up too later. Or if you follow any of my older links, it still will work. Like if you're going to go look on scrapbook.com or on Cherry on Top. If you go to any of my videos and follow any of my share sale links, they will work. But I had no intention of... Or it, remember, he said, I'm not even sure where I'm going with this. So I had, I didn't put up any links. So um, I can try to figure out the information and I can post it later. So I'm going in there just in that section. That's the only place I'm going to add the um, oh my goodness, pumpkin spice. Clean my brush. 
And let's go in with some of the pink now. And I'm gonna clean that. I'm just gonna keep working. I'm gonna go in now with raspberry swirl. So we're going in first with the stencil brush just to build our first layer. And then I can always go in and add some textural layers as well after. So we'll see how well that one's gonna show up. Put a little bit more on the brush and blend that in there. Oh my goodness. Do you want to peek? Do you guys want to see what this looks like so far? Are you waiting with bated breath? Because remember, it's attached. So guess what I can do? Are you seeing where this going? It's going to be beautiful. Okay. So now let's go in with bubble gum. And then we'll finish off with our two greeny blues. What stencil do you think I should start with when I first start buying stencils? What kinds? Polka dots. Polka dots. I would go with circles, different sizes of circles. Just basic background shapes. To be honest with you, if I was going to start somewhere with anything, stamps, it would be circles. With um, uh, stencils would be. It just is the easiest way is uh, to create art without having to be a Picasso is with stamps and stencils. So if you are new to mixed media, that is exactly what I'd say is anybody can do this with the pr proper tools. And the thing I would start with are stamps and stencils. And if I was gonna start with one before the other would be stencils. I think you can do more and they're easier to use when you're right out of the gate, brand new. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with Bubble gum, bubble gum, yummy, yummy. Okay, load this brush up. And if you find your medium's not moving fast enough, one squirt of water could uh, pick that up. So I'm gonna go over here with bubble gum in this corner. So it is very silvery, a silvery hint of pink. It's very pretty. And the other thing that you can do is if you're not getting very much pigment deposited, you'd wait for that layer to dry and then you could load a little bit more on top. But if it's not dry, you're just gonna pick your pigment up. So I'm trying to layer it here and I'm not gonna get the result that I want yet. So I'm gonna put that here and now we're gonna go in with the two shades of blue. So spearmint and ice. Ice berry. Cleaning off my stencil brush so that I get true color when I lay down the next pigment. I don't want whatever color is existing on that brush to blend in with the next color. So just cleaning up my stencil brush. Question How do you make a stencil with a Cricut? So I would use foundations paper or heavier weight cardstock. It's not something you can use like over and over again, but you can get a couple uses out of it. If you have my matte acrylic gel, I would put squirts of that on it and then brayer it over top and it will give your stencil a little bit more body. Um, and you can find great background patterns that you can use. I think I've even have some free ones on vickybooten.com that are meant to be used as stencils. I can't wait any longer. If I don't clean this, I'm not gonna get it off the mat. So let's do that. And the other thing I look at when I'm buying stencils is patterns that will layer together. So if I wanted to put another stencil on top would be kind of linear. So a script would be great, stripes, just something that I could layer a smaller circle on top. Okay, let's go in now with Spearmint. And Cricut has stencil vinyl. I actually have bought some, so that is true facts. I think both Cricut and Silhouette have stencil vinyl. So I do, I actually, isn't it funny? I just ordered some in my last order. Um, I ordered stencil vinyl, so you can do that as well, yeah.
But yes, I will be adding lots because I know you guys are very good and very much support me in my little shop that I just put my favorite things in. That's pretty much the only thing I really carry in there are the things that I use. But I am, I'll beef it up. I'm going to be adding some good stuff in there when I get back. Okay. Oh my goodness. Spearmint is looking lovely. Okay. Want another peek? No, I'm not going to show you yet. Don't try to trick me. I'm going to show you when I can do the big reveal. So I'll show you this and then I'm still going to put some through like a texture because I think that'll be a fun way to finish it. Okay. So let's go in finally with ice berry, ice berry, ice, ice baby. Okay. Ice berry. Do do. So you could use a blending uh, tool as well. If you don't have stencil brush, you could use blending brushes or you could try with uh, ink blending tool. But the reason, so if you're like, well, why are you doing that not using the palette knife is because look at, it's dry instantly and I get this really light soft. If I don't want a textural layer, I want maybe a soft layer. And now I have that. So are you ready? So this is what this looks like with just with a stencil brush. So I think I can position this again. So look at how pretty friends. So you could totally just leave it like this. Look at that disco phenomena. Isn't it pretty? Phenomena. Do, 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 do. So now let's add a little texture and I'm just going to put stencil back on and put a little, little bit of texture on top of it. I know black is, is going to make it really pop because they're reflective, right? So by putting it on the black background, it's a whole different ball of wax. So I'm going to start, even though I would not normally start um, where my arm is going to be, but I am going to do that here because I like to live on the edge. And only because it's already on my um, palette knife, okay? So I'm not covering all my areas. I want to see some of that light little bit, and then I have the texture on top of it. So that one, I'm going to work backwards now. And that one was the ice berry. And I want to move fast because, you know, we're going to take this and do something fun with the stencil. Let's go with spearmint. A little spearmint on there. Not much. Clean that up. Going with the next color. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Which was bubblegum. Only in one direction, so you're not pushing it under your stencil, and it still could bleed a little bit, but it's okay. It'll just add to the charm. We don't panic. Then raspberry swirl. And then when we're done this, I'm going to have to let these dry. Like this, as soon as I put this on like a texture paste, you know that I'm going to have to let that dry. Okay. Clean that off. And now let's go in with pumpkin spice. I don't even remember. Where did I put pumpkin spice? You know what? Did I just put that on the wrong thing? I probably did, but whatever. I think I put that on the wrong color. I think I put I put um, the <laughs> uh, raspberry swirl on the pumpkin, but it's okay. We'll just put a little bit of that here. I'll blend it in a little bit even. Let's pretend Vicky didn't just do that, but I know I did. Okay. And last but not least is going to be butterscotch. And then I'm going to show you something quick. This is why I'm moving so fast because I want all this wet stuff to go and make something pretty with my dirty stencil. Okay. So I am going to very carefully lift this off. 
and move fast. Clean your stencil or your palette knife off. Don't leave things open to making a mess. So see, do, do lids are back on, wipe my stuff down, show you the reveal. And then we're gonna take this wet stencil that has all this texture paste on it. We're gonna mist the heck out of it with water and we are going to make a sandwich. So I'm gonna have a piece of black cardstock and a piece of white foundations paper. So if you're doing this with me, that's your next step. You're going to take a piece of black cardstock and a piece of white um, foundations paper and we're gonna make a sandwich. Are you ready for the reveal? Oh my goodness, that is so beautiful if I do say so myself. I'm gonna show you guys again in a second, but for right now, let's do the thing. Let's do this thing that I have in my head and see what happens. This is going on the floor. Try to remind me not to step in it. So I'm going to take this dirty stencil and I'm going to miss the heck out of it. This might all be dry. I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping we can get an effect out of it. So let's wet it. Let's maybe take um, a paintbrush and move the medium around on it so we know that it's still wet. Just kind of work in that medium so it's not big, thick, and kind of grungy. Make sure it's still wet. It's wet. Oh, it's good. It's good. Okay. Get it wet. Move it around. What kind of effect are we going to get? Let's see. Okay. And now we're going to sandwich. You decide what you want to go on the bottom and what you want to go on the top. I think I am going to put this, the wet, wet, wet side is going to go on foundations. Where is it, Vicki? Do, 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 do. Second. It's marinating. It's good. If this is going to be so pretty. Get ready for it. Okay. Foundations. Ready for it? It does. It looks like beautiful eye makeup. It's what I would have wore. It's what I will wear to the Boy George concert. Okay, foundations. It's. I'm going to flip it. I don't even care that that's back there. Okay. Misting it again. Might even mist my sheet because I want a lot of transfer. Okay. Wet it. Wet it. Wet it. Wet it. I can do this on foundations paper. So when I put this down, okay. Wet it, wet it, wet it. This might not transfer onto the black at all, but we're gonna try. I'm gonna put the black down. And now I'm gonna brayer the heck out of this sandwich. I wanna get as much transfer oop, as I possibly can. It might not even work. It will work on one, but it might not come through on the other. It might, it might not, let's see because we just do the things. So let's get in there. Like, we mean it. And then I'm going to rub into some of those. But you can't leave this too long because you could end up gluing it. Right? That wet paint could glue to your other page. So I can't mess around for too long. But when I dry this, I'm going to have this hint of this beautiful background. Not a ton of transfer on the black, but we should have excellent transfer on the white. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look how beautiful that is. You would have wiped that all off with paper towel. Look what we just made. Okay. So now I'm going to let these dry. I'm going to get my um, heat gun out. We'll dry them. I've ran out of real, real estate. Oh my goodness. Though. Seriously, let's just talk about how pretty that is. Let's just talk about how pretty that is. Let's wet all the things because now I have a mess. Uh, no paper towel left. Let me grab one. Oh, actually, this just go in the sink, friends. Okay. Just much easier. Much easier in the sink. It will soak and then I will clean it after. Give it a quick wipe. Sorry, friends, remember? A-type personality comes out and I can't just leave it. I can't. I don't have a Mario who would do this for me. Maybe he'll come over and visit me and help me. 
but Vicky does not have that. Vicky is solo right here tonight. Okay, so I went and cleaned that up. All right, just clean your stuff up. So I'm going to do one more background so we have something to work on the next thing. Any questions? Is there anything that you would like to see at this point? But I want to show you, let's get a heat gun, because once I take the water out of this stuff is when magic is going to happen. Let me shut off my one light here. I'm afraid to, to now uh, take the heat gun, plug it in, and then blow the fuses or something. See you later, Pamela. I'm not going to be on for much longer because I, I, I'm doing what I needed to do tonight, showing you what we needed to talk about. Oh. And then we're going to take these because you know I love that the first Friday we talk about the things. You guys go away, you play with the things. And then you come back and you show me what you made and then we make something out of the things. So that is the goal for tonight is an introduction. And then you go and play with the things and you show me your magic. So I'm going to take some moisture out of this. Oh, I love this one. So this was the dirty stencil that was stamped on here and then the magic that happened. This paper is very, very wet at this point. So all I'm trying to do is take some of the moisture out just so you can see what this actually will look like when it's dry. I'm gonna do that with the black. Stencil stamping is a big Vicky Booten technique, right? I do this all the time. And you do not have to have this stencil to get this kind of magic. It will work with any of your stencils. So don't feel like, oh no, I have to go buy this or I can't do what she just did. Yes, you can. It doesn't require this stencil. And I will be adding it to my store. This one will definitely be added if it's not sitting out there ready to be added already. Okay, so not totally dry. It's This is still very wet, but can you see? How pretty that is. So pretty. Hi, Joan. Question. Do you press and seal your pace when you open them? You totally can. It'll make them last longer. And depending where you live, right, is, oh, my goodness, what's going on now? Just a second. Got to block somebody because these people show up. Um, block user and delete comment. Sorry, friend. Just a second. They find us. You know what the big thing is? A lot of these now are on YouTube. And uh, it used to be where it it was, or pardon me, on Facebook. They're not even on YouTube. So just a second. They find all of us. I was on um, Chamel's uh, live and they were doing the same thing there. Remember where we were getting a date? We were finding a new date. That was happening to her too, so let me dry this black. Oh my goodness, look at this just hint, and you would have cleaned this all off on a paper towel. So what I'm saying is don't forget with these um, mediums have a little bit of body in there and lots of pigment that you can get a beautiful technique. Now, this is just regular cardstock, and I use a lot of water, right? So what you're going to do is have to, I will press this. Like it will go underneath some uh, heavy card or totally through my mink. If I put that through my mink, I could flatten that right out. But now look at that on the black. And you would have just wiped that off with a paper towel. And look at the magic that we got. So these were just from cleaning the stencil. These two were cleaning the stencil. Want to see it from the original art? Seriously, love this. Look at that one. So that was stencil brush and then texture paste, like a texture paste. So this was all from one technique. Okay, one technique. I will promise you that this is not the last you're going to see of all of this. I will be doing tons of stuff with a texture paste because now um, a lot of you have them and a lot of you might not. But guess what? They'll be there. I ordered cases of them. 
because I'm afraid they'll sell out and then I'll never have them again. So um, I will be adding them to my store. So if you're waiting to place an order when I get back from England, I will make sure that I load that up. One of the questions was what's going on with your black foundations paper might not make it to this next release. It might not make it with print shop because I've got two samples. The first one was absolutely terrible. And I said, no bueno, don't want to use it. The second one was pretty good, but it wasn't there yet. So um, I'm going to see if on our third go, if we can't find exactly what I'm looking for right save a set for you i will 100 percent, natalie i have cases of it out here so we're going to be good because i love it and i know that once you guys see how easy it is to use that uh, like look at that can't couldn't we do something awesome with like a sunset <gasps> look how pretty that is i love this it is like i would wear this i would i'm going to try to do this on my jeans i'm going to do this on my jeans so we, we need to do that. Remember, we talked about it, um, that uh, I want to do altered jeans. So this might be happening. I'll test it, right? I'm going to test it. So we made this and we did this tonight where you got to see how they look as a texture paste and then how they look in watercolor. And the only thing we discovered, I gotta watch, I don't wanna put, I love this one, I don't wanna put something in it and ruin it. That uh, the only thing that I discovered is the butterscotch one has a gray pigment in there that separates when you put it on, uh, mix it with water, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. This is just, I wanna look at this all day. Oh my goodness, do you not love, I would wear this totally in a fabric. <laughs> this is bringing me joy, this right here. And look at how long that take, 15 minutes to make, half hour? Um, Nicole's saying, I think these texture paste might be my favorite colors. I love it, right? And in the container, you might not have a clue what this stuff does. And that's what I'm here for, friends, is that you trust me, you buy it, I will show you how to use it. I would definitely work on jeans and a t-shirt. I want to alter a pair of jeans. You guys have to remind me and we're gonna do that um, this summer that go to Old Navy when the jeans are on for 15 bucks, find a pair that you like and we're going to alter them. I want to do some mixed media on there, maybe a, cut a little bit of hand stitching. How fun will that be? And can I show you a peek at something I'm pretty proud of? You ready for it? Anybody, st is Kari still here? Curry, are you still here? Is Betsy still here? Anybody going on the cruise with me? Look what I made for my cruise album cover. It's got a shaker box on it. How fun is that? So even though I'm not using Sweet Rush for this album, I'm using a different collection, but this album still will work. Are you excited about that? So look what we're making, friends. This is one of my surprises. I'll be cutting everybody these and bringing your sparkles. So you didn't get these in your kit, but it's going to be happening when you cruise with me. All the magic, all the fun things. So I had to share that. This album is going to be beautiful. It's a mix of um, a little bit of Sweet Rush. It's a mix of the new Crate Paper uh, Travel Collection and Heidi Swap. It's a lot, a lot of fun. So, yay, that's what I've been working on. So that's why Vicky has no voice because I've been staying up till three and four o'clock like a crazy woman and um, then just getting up again <laughs> and doing all the things. So here, turn my light back on. So give me a second. Give me a second. I think you two are the only ones that are here, right, from the cruise. I don't think any of our other friends are here. I don't know what time it is in England. It could be very late, right? I think it's very late. So, um, yay. Anyway, let's flip the camera and talk to you for a minute. Hi, with my dirty uh, paper towels. Hi, Dawn. How are you? I love how this turned out. So let's show you because the lighting is different. If you guys can get a better view of that. Very pretty, isn't it? So on black is magical. So on the white, you see it. And it's very pretty. They're very pretty on white but metallics are always beautiful on black. So it's still very soft and subtle on the white. It's very pretty, but black is where it's at. 
when you want the really sparkly stuff. So this is going to warm Natalie's heart because we'll be using this a lot on uh, black. And that's why I cannot wait to have black foundations paper because we need some heavier stuff. Stars would be, uh, anything would be awesome, right? And I didn't even brayer it tonight, but it, it leaves us something to look forward to, right? Tonight was just an intro, texture paste. What are they? What do they look like out of the jar? What can I do with them? So I gave you a couple of ideas tonight. We will be revisiting that. So what my plan is, is I want to show you them in a video. I'm, I'm trying to get at least one video done. So while I'm away, you can be with me. Uh, if we can, maybe we'll do a live from the boat because I will have Wi-Fi. I just don't know if I can stream, but it's going to be fun. Name of the collection. Um, this, this is part of Sweet Rush, if that's what you're asking. I'm not sure, Melinda, but it's part of my Sweet Rush collection with American Crafts. It does look like a mermaid tail. Angela, it looks like a mermaid tail. Hi, Lori. Um, yet yeah, you're, you're, grab, you're, you're joining us um, at the end. But it's okay. You can watch it after the fact. I'm reading comments too while I'm doing this. So I will be selling leftover kits from the cruise once I'm back. I have to price it. There is like a lot of product in it. So it's going, it will be not the cheapest of my kits, but uh, the value will definitely be there. Like I am teaching this on the cruise. We're not going to use it all. We're not using all this product. You'll have tons left over. Like there's two sticker books. There's uh, three ephemera packs, the tag, uh, pretty much everything from the two collections is in there. Almost all of it from the two collections. So it'll be good. So thank you so much, my friends, for joining me. Like I said, I will not be live now for two weeks. I am going to attempt to have a video that will go live uh, while I'm away on Friday at eight o'clock. Uh, so you still have something to do. So it's like I'm with you, but I'm not really with you live. Um, but uh, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'm going to try to get as much done as I can. And uh, it'll be fun. We're going to be fun. So with that extra cruise kits that are not posted, don't email me about it or anything because I can't wrap my head around it till I get back. Um, it will not be taught like a live class. The only thing that I will do is paper cutting and a class walkthrough. So it won't be full written instructions. It will be more um, I do all the paper cutting and I'm going to record that. And then I will do a walkthrough of where the things go. But at this point, I'm not sure what will happen with instruction. So I just want you to have know that it's not going to be like a typical VBOO class. Okay. So thank you so much. I am going to have an awesome time with all of my friends, our VBOO crew who is joining me on the ship out of Southampton, uh, UK, England. Uh, and I will be back in two weeks. If you follow me on Instagram, um, and on Facebook, I will be posting lots of pictures of my adventures. It will be fun. So if you're planning a trip to London, I will be posting all of the amazing things that I'm going to go do, see and eat and drink and take pictures of and shop for. Uh, so uh, definitely check me out on uh, IG and on Facebook. It's Vicki Booten on both of those. And it's going to be so much fun. And I will see you guys in two weeks. All right, right around Canada Day, July 1st. Right around that time is when I'm back. And um, I'm going to try to get video recorded. I'm not guaranteeing it. So just check on Friday if uh, you see it go live. And if not, I will make sure I make up for it when I get back. So thank you so much, my friends. Um, you still have lots to chew on, right? You can check out all the Friday Night Lives you've missed. Go back and revisit some of your favorites and try a new color palette. Um, but I will see you on the flip side. And as always, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time away from your busy lives to get creative with me on a Friday night. I can't wait to see what you guys create. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up here on YouTube and uh, hit that bell, the subscribe button, so you don't miss any content that I'm bringing. And if you're on Facebook, please as well, give me a little love over there. It always helps us find new people to join uh, the VBOO crew. And I love that. So as always, have a wonderful night, weekend, wherever you are in the world, and I'll see you when I get back. Bye, friends.